CR Droid 12.3 is finally here for our Xiaomi Pad 6, running on Android 16. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the full installation process, plus a complete side-by-side -side comparison to help you decide which version is right for you. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First things first, open your browser and search for CR Droid. Click on the first link, then hit download for your device. Now search for Pippa, that's the code name for the Pad 6. In the download section, you'll see all available versions. Just choose the latest Android 16 build. It's a vanilla build, so we'll need G apps too. Click download, and after a short wait, the download should start automatically. Well, in my case, I've already downloaded it, so I'll just cancel it here. Next, search for Nick G apps. Go with the official website. Scroll a bit and click on Download. Choose Releases, then Android 16, and pick the latest one. You'll see multiple versions, but I always go with Core. Why? Because it includes only the essential Play services and Play Store, no unnecessary Google apps. Once both files are downloaded, close the browser and head over to our Telegram channel. In the CR Droid ROM post, download the recovery images. Telegram channel link is in the description. Now, open your file manager, go to Downloads, and extract the recovery file. Then head to your C drive, open the Platform Tools folder. In the location bar, type CMD and hit Enter. Now, restart your Pad 6. While restarting, hold the volume down button. This will boot your device into fast boot mode. Connect it to your PC using a USB cable. Back on the PC, type Fastboot, Flashboot, then drag and drop the boot image and hit Enter. Next, type Sci Fastboot, Flashboot Vendor. Drag and drop the boot vendor image. Hit and Enter. Then type so Fastboot, Flash, DTBO, drag and drop the DTBO image and hit Enter. Finally, type this Fastboot Reboot Recovery. Your Pad 6 will now boot into CR Droid Recovery. On the Pad 6, choose Factory Reset, then Format Data. Go back to the main menu and select Apply Update, then Apply from ADB. Now, back to the PC, type ADB Sideload, drag and drop the CR Droid ROM, and hit Enter. This will take some time, and don't panic if it gets stuck at 47%, that's normal. Once flashing is done, CR Droid will ask if you want to flash more files like G Apps or Magisk. Choose Yes. Recovery will reboot. Now again, choose Apply Update, then Apply from ADB. Back to the PC, type ADB Sideload, drag and drop the G Apps file, and hit Enter. After it completes, just choose Reboot Now. After a short wait, the CR Droid logo will appear, and boom! The setup screen is here. Let me quickly set it up for the review and performance test. So first impressions, it looks and feels almost the same as the previous version. But now with Android 16, we get the new control center. You can customize every tile just the way you like. One thing I noticed, you can now literally switch refresh rates from 30 Hertz to 144 Hertz. After testing several custom ROMs, this is the first time I've seen this feature. In display settings, there's a new smooth display toggle. It intelligently adjusts the refresh rate based on your usage. CR Droid settings. All the tweaks from before are still here. Battery styles, screen off animations, and in miscellaneous, we've got full spoofing options to unlock higher FPS in games. There's also a new sidebar feature. And for apps that don't support landscape mode, you can now force rotate them using the all-new desktop mode. Once you switch to desktop mode, you can open apps in windowed mode, just like on a PC. And the best part? If you open multiple apps and go to Recents, each one appears in its own separate window. But keep in mind, this feature is still in development. It might crash sometimes, and it's not as polished as Samsung DeX. Still, it gives you a basic desktop-like experience on your tablet. In battery settings, there's a new charging control option. You can limit charging to avoid overcharging. Also, you can check your battery health. Now, let's talk performance. 
in and 2 2, we scored 1,094,916. Compared to CR Droid on Android 15, that's a huge jump. In Geekbench, we got 1299 in single core and 30 12 in multi core. And in 3D Mark, we hit 3694. So, yeah, CR Droid 12.3 isn't just an Android upgrade, it's a performance and optimization upgrade, too. Now, let's move to actual gameplay testing. First up, BGMI. Before playing, I added every game to game space to optimize performance. But this time, bypass charging isn't available, probably because the developer didn't include it. I've seen it in Infinity OS though. In graphics settings, Super Smooth and Smooth both support Ultra Extreme, meaning 120 FPS. Balanced HD and HDR support Extreme Plus, which is 90 FPS. Ultra HDR is also available, but capped at 60 FPS. I set mine to Smooth plus Ultra Extreme. In Spawn Island, FPS stays between 110 to 120. In event areas, it drops to 64 to 80. Other locations? Around 100 to 117. pretty solid, but could use a bit more optimization. Not from CR Droid, but from BGMI developers. Next, COD Mobile. In multiplayer mode, Ultra means 120 FPS. High and very high support max, which is 90 FPS. Same for Battle Royale mode, but by default, FPS is capped at 90. Make sure to switch it to 120 in multiplayer, FPS fluctuates between 105 to 120 in multiplayer. And 95 to 118 in Battle Royale. Now, Genshin Impact. On low graphics, it runs at a consistent 60 FPS. If you want better visuals, you'll need to compromise on FPS. But both settings give stable performance, definitely optimized by the developers. Last game, Free Fire. Max settings, highest possible FPS. And the best part? Consistent 60 FPS throughout. That's it for today's video. After this full review and side-by-side -side comparison, I can confidently say, CR Droid 12.3 isn't just an Android upgrade, it brings better performance, smoother UET, a new control senti, or, and that awesome desktop mode. If you want more Pad6 custom ROM videos, don't forget to hype this one up. I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned. <laughs> Lenny